Michael Jackson spent the whole year of uh, 1994 living in New York City um, to get away from Santa Barbara because of the allegations and the DA going after him and also to record an album um, in New York. Uh, he moved there because of an earthquake as well. He was a bit scared to uh, record in the LA area, but the point is that by the time Safe Chuck would have been at Neverland again, he would have been 17 or 18 years old. Mm -hmm. So that changes the entire narrative that that film is um, trying to give us, that Jackson you know, lost interest in young boys when they hit puberty, and of course that Safe Chuck himself said that uh, the abuse ended when he was 14. So it's not, it's not just a small matter, you know, it changes the entire narrative of that whole documentary. It's a big, big deal. Yeah, do you want to uh, say anything to that? Yes. Yes, boy, that was a lot. Um, first of all, I heard a bed doesn't fit in the castle. Okay, so how did you, and he said in beds, there was a bed in the castle, there was a bed in the arcade. We have the ground supervisor who said there was never a bed in the arcade or in the castle. Um, so we're not sure, you know, there's witnesses. Now, this guy started working there in 1990, okay? The other guy started working there um, when Michael pretty much you know, bought the place in 88. Um, James also says that Michael bought it for him, bought Neverland for him. And by buying Neverland for him, Michael first became aware of Neverland when he recorded the Say, Say, Say video with Paul McCartney in 1983. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Michael put down the deposit on Neverland in 1987 which is a year before he even said the molestation happened. So why would Michael buy Neverland for you when he's not even messing around with you? You guys met in 87. Then he says that in 1987 Thanksgiving, Michael spent Thanksgiving with them in 1987. But in, in uh, Thanksgiving 1987, Michael, are you there? I heard beeps. No, I'm here. Hello? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm here. Um, but in 19, yeah. sorry about that. So in 1987, um, uh, at Thanksgiving, Michael was in Australia meeting five-year-old Wade. I mean, it's just sloppiness. It's just, it, 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 they did not take their time because they're relying on you can't defame the dead. You see? So if, if you can't defame who they believe is dead, then sky's the limit. Say whatever you want. Lie as much as you want. You fear nothing. But now with the non-disparagement clause, I'm, 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 I, I thought that that would shut HBO up and HBO would say, never mind, we can't air this because thank you for that. Instead, they fired one of the main guys, the main, not one of the main guy at HBO. They fired him. Uh, one of the main guys at Warner Media, he ended up resigning because of his sexual allegations. This is all during this year. This is all this year. Okay, so there's so much that is that is wrong, you know what I mean, that doesn't even, that, mm -hmm. that, that you can do it, but they're relying on it. Let's get back to the $100 million um, um, lawsuit. I think it's going to be more than that, okay, because they mm -hmm. had to postpone um, opening the Don't Stop Till You Get Enough Play musical that was supposed to open in Chicago. They had to postpone that till 2020. Um, they had to cancel rehearsals. Um, McDonald's, there was a McDonald's in Neverland, in, in the Netherlands, uh, that had Michael's huge history um, um, statue, and they took that down. Um, Starbucks stopped having Michael on their Spotify playlist. Um, Louis Vuitton had Michael Jackson inspired clothes. Star on Hollywood, Michael Jackson's star on Hollywood has been damaged and vandalized. There was a popular video of a gymnast that really is an excellent gymnast, and she um, was dancing to Michael Jackson. She said that publicly, I'm not going to dance to his music anymore. She took it out. Um, the, 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 in that clip, they said Michael didn't want to record music in Los Angeles in 94, but if Michael lives in Santa Barbara, I just want to make that location. And we have the witness that was with Michael Jackson, I mean, with Wade Robeson the entire time, pretty much, um, from, uh, what was it, from 90 to 94. But wait a minute. Uh, which is Brandy, Michael's niece, and he also, Jermaine said two nieces, so I'm not sure if it was Stephanie or Yoshi, which is uh, Reby's daughters, that he, that he dated as well. Brandy saying, I was with him the whole time. 
you know, from from 1990 to 97, you know, 98, 99, we were together. We were always together. Also, a contradiction, Wade says that, uh, oh, Michael was raided at Neverland. Michael was raided at his condo. Michael was raided at a Las Vegas hotel. Michael was raided in 93 and 2003 at Neverland. So we're talking about a major investigation, major investigation. And no one, and they said hundreds of times, when Wade and his mother are in line to get Michael's history album with a card trying to trying to get Michael's attention. Furthermore, they said that most of the time when they went to Neverland, Michael was not even there. That Michael was only there four times and they were there like 14, 15 times. I mean, it it it, it blows the mind why now, I can understand you think you can't defame the dead. Okay. HBO, though. HBO, you are the main network. You are a producer. Dan Greed had a contract with HBO. He had done more movies with HBO. You see, so they're part owner of, in, a financier of this documentary. Mm-hmm. So I don't yeah. know what's going on in HBO's head to where, what's their defense? I, I, I yeah. don't get it. Maybe they think maybe they think it's worth it because they're getting so many subscribers. But I know a lot of fans canceled their subscriptions. You see, for HBO. Yeah. Um. So I, I'm 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 still like, what am I missing here? Why is right. HBO not not going? Oops, sorry. Gosh, let's settle out of court because the arbitrator. And the reason why it's arbitration is because that's what the contract, the non-disparagement agreement, said that they were going to use a retired judge. And I found out who that retired judge is. It's a judge called George Wu. They have one of the first real hearings is scheduled for May 13th. And, of course, if it's open to the public and it's in Los Angeles, which is supposed to be an L.A. Central Court, I am going. I'm going to be there when that happens. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm like really, really eager to figure out what are we missing here? Why does HBO hold on to this and cocky and arrogant and don't mm-hmm. give a crap? Yeah, yeah. When it seems like it's it, an open, shut case. Yeah, it definitely should be restated on uh, because that's exactly what the attorney was screaming. He was saying that they should have um, – they should have uh, in, ensured that leaving Never, Neverland was properly sourced, fact-checked, and a fair and balanced representation. Instead, they chose to fund. I think a lot of people yeah. don't hear us when we say that. They chose to mm-hmm. fund and produce a film where they knew yep. the two st- subjects had for many years testified under oath and told the family, yep. friends, and law enforcement that Mr. Jackson did nothing inappropriate to either of them. Absolutely nothing inappropriate under oath and to law enforcement. Right, under oath. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, minus the fact that you tell friends and family, but my goodness. But, I mean, I want to ask you, being that this is such a big deal, this seemed to be the, the, the hour of pedophilia, and they seem to be going very, very hard and, and, you know, it just seemed to be, there's like a lot of laws um, happening behind the scenes that we're unaware of. And so many things are linked to public crimes, the anti-lynch law to the Jesse Smollett case. Uh, if they make, if they get this as a win, to me it opens doors for pedophilia because if they can make him the face, such a big iconic name, you know, known all over the world, just change emotional state. If they can make him the face of it, that would be like a big win for them. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I don't we're trying to wreck our, our sane brain. Just, just make to, to legalize pedophilia. Maybe so, uh, and and that's a sick, sick thing. Man, boy, sex is a sick thing. To reduce the age, that is the goal of Mambla. You know, um, I Oprah. They brought David Geffen brought Oprah into this, even though Oprah had said in 2005 when Michael was acquitted. Instead of her saying, well, the, you know, the court has spoken. We have to respect the court. Michael didn't do it. There was nothing to say he did it. She's going to say, I guess we'll never know the truth. So she's arrogant enough to think only her truth <laughs> is the only truth that is truth, 
right? And how she's not backing down because in 93, Michael Jackson did the interview with Oprah as well. So did, did and this is months after the, the 92 HBO non-disparagement. So did Oprah sign a non-disparagement agreement as well? But Oprah's going to say that um, because she had 219 shows about uh, pedophilia that she has the right to do after leaving Neverland because of her job. She's not a psychiatrist. She's not a psychologist. She's a talk show host with a bachelor's of arts degree. So it doesn't matter. She's talking about the pattern of abuse. Michael, uh, it fits the pattern of abuse. What? Walt Disney, he made uh, amusement parks. So was he a pedophile too? I mean, I, 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 you know, Michael did. Michael hung around kids and he was very public with that. But he also hung with old ladies. He hung with Liz Taylor and and um, Liza Minnelli. <laughs> you know, he was Diana in love Ross. with Diana Ross as a kid. Yeah. I mean, seriously yeah. in love with Diana Ross. So I'm I'm just baffled. You know, Michael loved. Michael needed to sell a lot of records. He wanted to outsell Thriller. So he wanted to reach kids that were young that they can buy their his records for decades. He wanted to reach white, black, old, young. You know, Michael is well known. My documentaries, my Alive trilogy of Michael Jackson documentaries has been purchased by fans in 50, 50 countries. Okay. Now this mm-hmm. documentary that HBO has funded had an independent distri- distributor. And this distributor um, has distributed all over the world, but HBO is liable for that too, because HBO is part owner and they funded this project. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, what am I missing here? And you're right. Maybe it is man, boy, sex because, or um, uh, because this documentary is proving to be fiction and I will call it not a documentary. It's a child porno film. It's a fictional Mm -hmm. fairy tale Mm -hmm. of child pornography. It's child pornography. It is disgusting. And it should be outlawed and it should be illegal. And I believe that once this documentary is proven to be completely made up, now I've already proven it, but who am I? I'm a little small independent, you know, um, um, investigative journalist, but in a court of law. You know, um, if somebody was to file charges that this is qualifies as child pornography, let's do that, okay? And and have them arrested and put in jail and have to register as sex offenders. Because if you're going to mm-hmm. make up, you're spreading your butt cheeks while as a mm-hmm. kid, while Michael yeah. masturbates and you make that up, you've made that yeah. up, then you are propagating child pornography. Mhm. Yeah. And and Oprah